Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, in yesterday's video, we showed you the little loop system with Divi and built this little post group using loops. The idea of it was really to show you how to link modules to the loop system. We had a couple of questions. People said, well, why didn't you just use a post module? Yeah, it would have been a lot easier, but I just wanted to show people how to actually add modules and then put them into the loop system and pull data from the database. So we were left with this yesterday. and <laughs> You would not believe the amount of comments I had about one simple thing on here that I should have done. Had it been a production site, I would have done it. But as it was a demo, I left it as it was. And I don't know if you can guess what that is looking at it. It was the buttons. People were driven crazy by the fact that the buttons weren't all lined up. And I did actually mention that you could just easily do it with a bit of flex and get them all to line up perfectly. But as this was all about the loops yesterday, I didn't do that. So let's do that today. And it is so incredibly simple with the flex system. So here we are with Divi 5. I'm going to go ahead and edit with Divi. Now, just as a recap for anybody that didn't see yesterday's video, we're using a group module here. And it's got an image module at the top. Then we've got a heading module. Then we've got a little text module and a button. I can illustrate that better if I go to wireframe over here. And there it is. And there's only one of them. And we use the loop system to duplicate it and hook it up to the various posts. That's why we've got, I think it was 10 of them. Well, I think I only had nine in total, so that's what we had here. Now, if we look at that, you want to keep this in mind because what we're actually going to be aligning today are these modules within our group here. So we've got a group image heading text button, just like I said. So let's do it. Obviously, I'm going to go back to the desktop, make sure everything looks right. Now, all I'm going to do is go into a group, the gray tab for the group. And it doesn't matter which one of these you go in. You can do this to any one of them. It'll do it to all of them. So we'll go into the group. It'll say group up here. I'm going to go over to design. I'm going to go down to layout. I'm going to make sure flex is selected and checked. Then to fix it, all I'm going to do is go down there, hit space between, boom, everything is in line. And that's what I meant when I was talking about it yesterday. How short was this video? No, I'm only kidding. I'll take you through a few of these so you can see what's going on. So if I just undo that, that's the default settings we've got at the moment. And we can go in here. We can ask what column layout direction we want. At the moment, it's on column down. That's why they're stretching downwards. If I try and do them in a row, they're going to mess right up because they'll try and put all those modules. Remember, it's all these little modules that we're affecting here. They'll try and squish them all horizontally there and it's not going to work same with the other way so down's going to work that's the way we had it and you can reverse it if you want you if you want the button on the top simply do that and for just copying layouts and if you want to switch things around how useful is that anyway let's put it back the right right way around in the column now the justify content here the default is going to be on flex start and that means our items are placed towards the start of the flex containers main axis and the flex container obviously is our group here now we've got center which will pop everything in the center all those modules see we've got now a little gap at the top there and everything's sort of centered and it just centers them along the main axis there and it sort of aligns at the end based on the direction of our column here and here's the one we want to use today space between and what that does it evenly distributes the items along the main axis with the first item at the start and the last one at the end there. So these are perfectly lined up. We've got no gap at the top with our image. All our buttons are perfectly in line, which is the way I should have left it yesterday, as I said. And we've got space around. And what this will do, it almost works for us today. It'll evenly distribute along the main axis with equal space around each item. But again, we've got a little bit of space on the top of our image there, which I really don't want. All the buttons seem to be lined up nicely though with that. Now space evenly, they'll just be evenly spaced around that central axis there, which works perfectly. But again, we've got the little space at the top of our images there, and I really don't want that. So let's put it back how I wanted it, space between, perfect. Now, if you wanted all the alignment, 
items aligned on the left hand side it will be start center is where we are at the moment end they'll end up on the right hand side like i say left start you can pop them over there if you want to it has actually done it to our text module here but our text is aligned center so you can't really tell any difference there and it, if you want to these won't do much but you can stretch it if you want it to fill up a certain space there and don't need any wrapping won't make any difference at all on this particular layout so we can leave that off so there we go guys this is really just about a bit of flex and how to get all your buttons or all your little ducks in a row there without doing very much i mean you could go in you could absolutely position those buttons it would do the same thing but that is the simple one so let's just save draft make sure this is going to work on the front end and we'll take a look and there we have it all our little buttons are now perfectly in line with each other so i hope that's answered that question today very short sweet video don't forget if you have any questions pop them down below i'll do my best to answer them or make a little demo video just like this one so once again this has been jamie from system 22 and web designer takeTips.com. thanks for watching have a great day.